Hey everyone, Rick here, and welcome to my final Dwarven Forge Resin Extravaganza unboxing. If you're watching this, then that means at this point there are videos uploaded for everything that I have received in this over 100 pounds of pure polystone resin sets from Dwarven Forge. As with all of my unboxings, the whole reason I'm doing this is because there are not a ton of Dwarven Forge resin videos on YouTube, and that is a travesty. So we're gonna change that right now. This is the last, folks, the last unboxing. I picked up three of these. Master Maze Fantasy Medieval Furniture Sets. Since they are all duplicates, we will just unbox one of them. So this will give you an idea of what comes in this resin dungeon dressing set. What some of what you're going to see in this box has been released by Dwarven Forge in Dwarvenite. Resin just has a little more weight. And let's take a peek at when you open the box, you'll get the foam tray, take off the lid, and inside every little piece is going to be baggied. I've heard it said before, and I echo the sentiment that yes, this is dollhouse furniture for geeks. Let's take a peek at what comes in this particular set. The two biggest pieces are of course going to be the tables. Now I vastly prefer these resin sets. Why? Because as much as I love the durability of the of the Dwarvenite, they kind of have some flexibility to them. Whereas this table, for example, is straight across. There's no bending here. This is very nicely done. You can see the wood grain in the table. You can see the wear in the paint job on the ends of the table. The legs, the joints where these wooden tables would have been crafted. So there's table number one. Here is table number two. Same exact thing, but it's nice that in this set you do get two wooden tables. Who doesn't need wooden tables, especially these rectangle shape dining style tables? In addition to two tables, you also get two of these wooden benches. Again, it, these do have a Dwarvenite counterpart. But unlike the Dwarvenite, these have no warping or flexibility whatsoever. You can see all, you can see even the holes in the wood where the nails would have gone through there. The grain of the wood, the knots in the wood, these are all hand-painted benches. Awesome. Next up, there are a ton, and by a ton, I mean six little wooden chairs. As much as tables are necessary, chairs are equally, if not more so. You can throw a chair just into any setup, and it doesn't have to be right way up. You want to show that there's been some commotion, put the chair on its side. Just little details like that make a room come alive. Six chairs. Here is what the chairs look like. Again, hand painted to resemble the wood craftsmanship. You can see the grains of the wood. You can see some wear. And that goes all the way through underneath on the back side of the legs. No, there, there's no weak point to the craftsmanship that Dwarven Forge has done. It's just absolutely fantastic. So again, there are six of these chairs. You can hear it. 
just the sound and the feel of resin pieces is so satisfying. And then last, but oh, so not least, these candelabras, these, full, these floor length pillars of light, whether they're made from iron or some other substance entirely. It's kind of hard to tell, but in the light, there is kind of a bronzish, a dark bronze kind of finish to them. And then, of course, the torch light at the top. So let's get these set up here. A bench a piece, a couple chairs, and voila, here is an entire dining room. And obviously with multiple sets. You can have quite a great haul. Does that not just look absolutely majestic, gorgeous, fully able to be used in any miniature terrain setup, display, diorama, game, role playing games, board games, miniature war games, terrain, folks? Pick up. You owe it to yourself to experience firsthand, even if it is one single set of accessory pieces. Give it a try if you haven't already. A Dwarven Forge resin set. There's nothing like it on this planet. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And until next time.